Management. Now, government has begun processes to convert the Kumasi campus of the University of Education, Winneba, into the University of Skills Training and Entrepreneurial Development. The university will have the mandate of training teachers in practical skills and entrepreneurship. A bill to allow for the conversation went through second reading in Parliament on Friday. Minister of State in charge of tertiary education, Professor Kwesi Yanka, says the move will ensure teachers are better trained with required skills. The bill, is thus, the bill thus provides the legal framework for the establishment of the University of Skills, Training and Entrepreneurial Development with a focus on providing a holistic training for teachers to equip the teachers with the requisite skills that meet the needs of the technical and vocational educational training system of the country. While there are many public universities in existence that offer courses and programs in various subjects, there is no public university dedicated to the training of teachers with the requisite knowledge, skills and aptitudes to train students in technical and vocational education. The establishment of the university will therefore bring into focus the relevance of technical and vocational education and training to national development and the need to achieve excellence in that regard. The proposed university will develop to the level of awarding doctorate degrees in technical and vocational education and training, thereby providing a workforce with the requisite skills. This will undoubtedly increase productivity, encourage investments as well, reduce unemployment, and improve upon the socio-economic sector of the country. The bill is thus the bill does provide the legal framework for the establishment of the University of Skills, Training and Entrepreneurial Development with a focus on providing a holistic training for teachers to equip the teachers with the requisite skills that meet the needs of the technical and vocational Minority and majority MPs want the institution renamed after business magnate and MPP Sawad Nana Akenting Apia, Apia Menka of Apino Soaps, who died in 2018. Listen to Shama MP Ato Pamford and Wild West MP Joseph Hilechere, and Ato makes a case for the renaming. In that, this particular institution that we want to establish will help Ghana develop the skills of those people who are gifted and talented, but who need to be trained, who need to be developed. The tendency was for us to introduce a name other than what is here. I also want to say that at this stage, I am going to move a motion also for us to name this university after a Kenting a PMK, an industrialist, a lawyer, statesman, and many things. With the establishment of this institution or this investing, it will train people to train them and certify them for the industrial requirement of this nation. Mr. Speaker, I also want to say a lot of things in respect of the contribution made my senior by my senior uh, year lecturer. Apia Menka has contributed so much in the industry through Association of Ghana Industries and the nation as a whole, as an entrepreneur, as an industrialist, and as a, as a lawyer. I believe that qualifying and granting him that opportunity for us to name the investor after him would do this nation a great deal by, you know, encouraging other industrialists to do more for this nation. I think that this...